Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in this video, I would like to explain to you how you can rate and like items in SharePoint. Uh, let me first explain to you what I'm talking about. So you know how on Facebook you can like somebody's uh, post, I guess, right? Uh, or maybe when you go to a restaurant, you can then leave them a five-star review or a four-star review. Well, guess what? We can do the same in SharePoint. In SharePoint, we can rate or like items in a SharePoint list as well as documents in a SharePoint document library. I'll show you both instances. So uh, here is an example of an issues log. Uh, of course, it's a custom list, right? It's a list, not the uh, document library or anything. It's a list with rows and columns of information. And what I would like to do is enable a uh, rating uh, scale on this list. And uh, I would like uh, my users to uh, either like uh, or not like particular items, I guess. So um, let's uh, go ahead and enable that gear icon. So you obviously you navigate to the list, gear icon, list setting, and you have to click rating settings. Now, one thing before we proceed, what I'm showing you right now, this feature right here, rating settings, is only available on team sites. All right, so if you have a communication site and you happen to have a library or list there, uh, this will not be available uh, for whatever reason on those sites just on team sites, and I do have a team site, so uh, this option is available. So you would click rating settings. Here we go. And by default, uh, it's disabled. So let's go ahead and enable that. All right, and once we enable that, we can now uh, choose whether we want a star rating, you know, kind of scale or uh, the likes, number of likes. So let's go with likes for this list. All right, click OK. Let's see what happened. If we uh, scroll down right here, if you notice um, at the column, if you take a look at the column list, there were, I had some columns obviously previously uh, related to this particular list, but we also got some additional columns added uh, that are specific to this rating scale, all right, for, the, for the, this functionality to work essentially, all right? So na let's navigate back to the list. All right, and look at this. Um, automatically, I got another column added number of likes. All right, so uh, let me demonstrate how this will work. Essentially, let's pretend I, I'm an end user right now and I do like a particular item within the list. All I need to do is just click that I like it. All right, if I change my mind, I can change that. All right, nice and easy. And obviously, uh, as more users navigate to this list and like it, you will just see the number of likes uh, appear in, um, you know, for each and every row. So nice, nice and simple, all right? Now, we can also enable the same functionality on the document library. And let me explain that. So let me navigate to the document library. And I do have a bunch of documents, I believe. All right, well, not a lot. Let's see if I have a few documents here. Here we go. I have a few documents here. So I want to enable uh, the same rating scale on this one. Uh, let me show you how to do that. So obviously, again, navigate to the library, gear icon, library settings. And just like on the list, we have this feature right here, rating settings. Obviously, we need to enable that. Now, for this one, for this one, let's go with the star rating so you can see how this works. Here we go. All right. And again, we got uh, um, you know the the special columns added automatically for uh, for us. Let's navigate to the library. Look at this. Here is my column. And by the way, if the column, if you want to eliminate the column, you want to add some other columns, obviously, you can always go ahead and, uh, you know, modify the view and uh, essentially change, you know, um, you know, remove a particular uh, column, etc. All right. Uh, but uh, we are not going to do that. So here we go. Uh, here, the bottom line is uh, right now we have the rating scale and look. Uh, let's say again I want to uh, rate a particular document. Uh, here we go. I like this file. I'll give it five stars, and you know for this one I'll give one star, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. All right. So uh, nice and simple. As users rate uh, particular items or documents, uh, the way this works, it averages out all the stars. All right. So let's say for example I uh, gave it this document one star and another user gave it five star, just like uh, I just did right here. Look at this. Uh, behind the scenes, I went in and uh, had another user uh, give this same document five stars. And because I gave one star, it averages it out. And that's essentially the logic on how it reconciles all those different ratings. 
One last thing I wanted to mention before we end this video, my SharePoint Maven Academy. Uh, it's a place where you can enroll in a variety of SharePoint and Office 365 courses. Uh, all the courses are available on demand. So once enrolled, you can pretty much take them at your own pace. Uh, you navigate to the Academy by going to academy.sharepointmaven.com. And I will also leave the link uh, in the uh, video notes as well. Uh, but once you make it to the site, um, you can uh, access all the courses. I have two different categories for you to choose from. I have some end user courses. I have some uh, site owner courses. And I constantly record and add additional courses for you to enroll in. Uh, and again, once enrolled, you can access those courses at your own pace from the convenience uh, of your computer. All right, so uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you uh, on this particular functionality. Hopefully you learned something new today. As always, we'll be happy to see you on my YouTube channel as well as my blog, sharepointmaven.com. Thank you very much and have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.